Hi and welcome to this training short on how to use .com and Exchange to provide feedback on Sybase Unwired platform documentation. .com and Exchange, or DCX, is a tool that is, allows you to review and provide feedback on documentation. It has a wide range of, range of features, a few of which are covered here. Today's focus will actually be on adding DCX comments. If you'd like to learn more about the other DCX features, you can see the training short on advanced DCX features coming out soon. Submitting comments in DCX is a quick four-step process. One, you access DCX via URL. Two, you log in using your My Sybase account. If you don't have a My Sybase account yet, you can easily sign up for one right there on the login screen. We do recommend that you choose a user ID that helps pubs know who you are. Then you can navigate through the content, do your reviewing, your reading, reference, etc. Once you find a comment or topic that you'd like to provide feedback for, you click submit a comment, add your information, then you can select public or private. Private comments are viewable only to SAP and Sybase users who have logged in. Public comments are viewable to everyone, even if you haven't logged in. Then finally, the fourth and optional step, you can subscribe to the topic, book, or collection to receive emails when any additional discussion or reply happens in relation to the topic or document. I added a couple of tips here. If you are having any issues with DCX, it's likely one of these items. DCX is very reliable. I've also added the DCX admin email address if you would like to report any technical issues there. I've also added two email addresses for uh, myself and for Julie Baldwin. My name is Kitty Oman. If you have any additional SUP pubs DCX questions, we moderate the commenting that takes place on DCX. And thank you so much for participating in improving the documentation. It's definitely appreciated. So now to jump over and show you DCX in action. So I've bookmarked the URL and I have available multiple uh, releases of Sybase and Wired Platform documentation. So I can click on, on the one I'd like to use. I can navigate over here through the table of contents or I can use the search feature. Uh, let's say I've navigated through my content. I actually, in this particular case, did a search on uh, CacheDB. Received some results, went through, and I've isolated um, what I'm working on to the particular topic about changing DBA passwords. And I need to provide feedback on step 2A. So I can easily copy here and I know that I am logged in because I see my login ID up here in the corner and my submit a comment button is enabled so I can click that I can go ahead and paste or type directly directly into the dialog there I just pasted I have a few formatting buttons that I can use so here if I wanted to make this bold to make it uh, stand out a little bit more that it should be unwired versus unwired platform let's say. So I've got my comment in. If I wanted to provide an attachment I could do that. So I could attach a white paper, something from a Word document, a screenshot of what I see in the product or uh, anything else or a diagram that I think might be helpful for this information. Once I have all of my comments entered and my attachments complete, I can click Submit as Private or Submit as Public. Public is default, and this is the public comment icon. In this case, I will choose Submit as Private. And here is my comment. So this is the private comment icon. If I decide I want to make any additions or corrections to my comment, I can click the edit comment icon. Again, I get the dialog. I can make whatever changes I need to as well as change how I've submitted it. So if I've submitted it as private and then I want to change it to public, I can do that. Now my comment is public. And I've successfully added my comment. Any additional replies and discussion will appear in the same window here at the bottom. The most recent information is appearing on the top. Uh, replies also appear indented. Then the last step 
would be to subscribe to this topic. So I click there and choose subscribe to the topic and from this point forward when there's any additional discussion or replies on this topic I get a daily email digest summarizing that information. Once I'm done following this topic I can easily click here. It remembers that I'm subscribed so now all I do is unsubscribe and it's just maintained that as easily as that. And that's all there is to it so I encourage you to um, provide as many comments as you would like and we will follow up from, with you from the pub side.